Let us examine the IUPAC classification of pore sizes. A micropore has effective pore diameters smaller than 2 nanometers or 20 angstrom. A mesopore has um, pore dimensions in the range of 20 to 50 nanometers. And a macropore has pore sizes in excess of 50 nanometers. Let's examine the uh, energy of interaction of gas molecules with the pore wall. This graph presents calculations using the Leonard Jones 612 potential. For hydrogen, the potential energy of interaction is shown by the black lines. For argon, the interaction energies are shown in blue. And for methane, the interaction energies are drawn in a red. R is the distance from the wall. And for each of these gas molecules, sigma is the size parameter and epsilon is the energy parameter. The sigma for hydrogen is smaller than the sigma for argon and the sigma for argon is smaller than the uh, sigma value for methane. Close to the wall for smaller values of R Repulsion forces are dominant. Further away from the wall, attraction forces come into play. And the depth of the uh, energy well is dictated by uh, the epsilon or energy parameter, which is largest for methane and smallest for hydrogen reflecting the stronger absorption of methane with respect to argon and argon is stronger in its absorption strength than um, hydrogen. We note that at the distance of one nanometer from the uh, pole wall, the potential energies of interaction are close to zero. Therefore, for mesopores with effective pore sizes larger than 2 nanometers, there is a central core region in which molecule-molecule collisions are dominant and molecule-wall interactions are of negligible importance. Conversely, for micropores with pore sizes smaller than 2 nanometers, a gas molecule remains within the force field that is experienced with a pore wall. There is no central core region for micropores. My uh, talk today is on um, the uh, diffusivities of unary gas inside micropores. The unary diffusivities of gas species in micropores can be determined from uh, experimental data on transient uptakes inside um, crystals of zeolites or MOFs, from uh, pulse field gradient NMR techniques or from um, molecular dynamics simulations. There are three types of uh, unary diffusivities uh, that are determinable. Thick diffusivities, Maxwell-Stefan diffusivities, and self-diffusivities. And um, I will talk today about the interrelations between um, these diffusivities.
the uh, theoretical background to the material I will cover today are provided in um, three publications of mine that are listed here. Watch also my uh, video presentation, Diffusion in Ordered Crystalline Microporous Materials, on my uh, YouTube channel. To uh, start the discussions, I consider a set of experiments for adsorption and desorption of um, ethane in LTA4A zeolite. The experimental data show uh, asymmetry in the adsorption desorption characteristics, and we shall examine the uh, reasons behind this. We uh, start our discussions of um, adsorption desorption asymmetry by considering the experimental data of Garg and Ruthwan for transient uh, adsorption and desorption denoted by the red circles and green squares respectively for uh, uptake of uh, ethane in LTA4A zeolite. 4A zeolite consists of uh, structure made up of uh, cages, approximately 11 angstrom in diameter, separated by windows of uh, dimensions that are approximately 4 angstrom. Note that the uh, uh, sodium cations, of which there are 96 per unit cell, the uh, sodium cations partially obstruct the, uh, the window regions and they influence the intercage hopping of gas molecules. Let's uh, examine and analyze the adsorption and desorption kinetics by first resorting to the Fickian diffusion model to describe intracrystalline diffusion. Um, <clears throat> Let's adopt the uh, Fickian model to describe intracrystalline mm, diffusion of um, ethane in LTA4A zeolite. In the uh, Fickian model, we uh, assert that the, uh, that the uh, um, intraparticle um, flux, denoted by N sub i, is proportional to the gradient of the molar loadings, QI. And this is the uh, partial differential equation that uh, relates the uh, transient uh, uptake to the uh, intracrystalline uh, diffusion fluxes. If we assume that the uh, Fickian diffusivity is independent of the loadings, the uh, Partial differential equation describing uh, uptakes can be solved analytically, and the uh, expression for the uh, spatially averaged uh, component loadings can be expressed in this form. This is the Geddes model used for a variety of uh, applications, such as uh, in uh, distillation, absorption, extraction, also for uh, transient uptake in uh, spherical crystalline materials. Using the uh, experimental data, we can uh, back out the uh, diffusivities, the Fickian diffusivities for the transient adsorption and transient desorption. If we do that, we uh, can uh, determine that for describing the transient adsorption kinetics, the uh, 
the Fickian diffusivity divided by the square of the uh, crystalline crystallite radius is 1.1 times 10 minus 3 per second. However, for the desorption cycle, the uh, experimental data is described by the value of the Fick diffusivity divided by RC squared equal to 6 times 10 to the minus 4. Put another way, there is uh, an asymmetry in the adsorption and desorption kinetics. The adsorption kinetics appears to be faster by about a factor 2 as compared to the desorption kinetics. So let us examine the reasons why the asymmetry occurs. And to do this, we have to uh, adopt a more fundamental approach to intracrystalline diffusion by properly recognizing that the driving force for uh, intracrystalline diffusion is not the uh, gradient of the uh, molar loading, but rather the gradient in the uh, chemical potential. If um, we adopt the maxwell stefan diffusion formulation, the uh, intracrystalline flux Ni is uh, written in terms of the gradient of the chemical potential in this manner, where Qi is the molar loading of component I, R is the gas constant, T is the temperature, and we have um, the chemical potential gradient of uh, species I. If we uh, compare this expression with the Fickian expression shown on the previous slide, we can derive a relation between the Fickian diffusivity D with the maxwell stefan diffusivity D with a line through it. And the uh, relation shows that the Fickian diffusivity equals the maxwell stefan diffusivity times a thermodynamic factor. The thermodynamic factor is determinable from um, the adsorption equilibrium that relates the uh, molar loadings, QI, to the partial fugacity in the uh, bulk gas mixture, F sub I. If the uh, adsorption equilibrium is described by the uh, single site Langmuir model, QI divided by QI at saturation, which is the uh, partial occupancy, is the Langmuir constant times the uh, partial fugacity in the uh, bulk gas mixture. And uh, we can determine the uh, thermodynamic correction factor to be 1 divided by 1 minus theta, but theta is a fractional occupancy. And if um, we examine how the thermodynamic correction factor depends on the uh, fractional occupancy, we uh, note that at zero occupancy or very low occupancy, the thermodynamic correction factor is unity. But as the uh, occupancy increases and approaches unity, the thermodynamic correction factor increases exponentially in this manner. During the adsorption cycle, we proceed along this way. And in the desorption cycle, the thermodynamic correction factor decreases because the occupancy is progressively reduced. Now, if we examine the Fick diffusivity and equals to the uh, maxwell stefan diffusivity times gamma, we note that the, with, in the adsorption cycle, 
the fig diffusivity would uh, increase with uh, fractional occupancy, whereas the uh, for the, in the desorption cycle, the fig diffusivity would be a decreasing function of uh, the uh, fractional occupancy. And the adsorption and desorption cycles can both be uh, modeled reasonably accurately with the value of the maxwell stefan diffusivity divided by the square of the crystalline radius equals 2 times 10 minus 4. And the reason that the adsorption kinetics uh, is faster is due to the influences of the uh, thermodynamic corrections. And uh, using the uh, Fickian model, we have to account for the faster adsorption kinetics with a Fick diffusivity divided by RC square value of 1.1 times uh, 10 minus 3. And the uh, desorption cycle is described by the effect divisibility divided by RC squared value of 6 times 10 minus 4. The asymmetry is engender, engendered by the behavior of the thermodynamic correction factor. Taking due account of thermodynamic corrections, both adsorption and desorption cycles can be described by a unique value of the maximal Stefan diffusivity divided by RC squared equals 2 times 10 minus 4. And this underscores the importance of using a more fundamental description of intracrystalline diffusion. Further background information is provided in this publication. See also my videos uh, on uh, diffusion in ordered crystalline microporous materials on my YouTube channel. The uh, maxwell stefan diffusivity that uh, characterize molecule wall interactions can also be obtained from molecular dynamic simulations by monitoring the mean squared displacement of an ensemble of molecules. The uh, formula for calculation of um, the maxwell stefan diffusivity for species I in one of the uh, coordinate directions is uh, given here. Um, in addition to the maxwell stefan diffusivity, MD simulations can also be uh, used to determine the self-diffusivity by analyzing the mean square displacement of individual molecules. The self-diffusivities reflect a combination of molecule-molecule and molecule-wall collisions. Using the Maxwell-Stefan uh, diffusion formulation, we can derive an expression that relates the uh, self-diffusivity to the Maxwell-Stefan diffusivity. The uh, relation is provided here. This coefficient here is a self-exchange coefficient. And if we examine MD data for the diffusivity, diffusivities of hydrogen and CO2 in MFI zeolite, we see that the maxwell stefan diffusivity is higher than the self-diffusivity for both hydrogen and for CO2. The self-diffusivity is lower than the maxwell stefan diffusivity is because individual jumps of molecules are correlated due to revisitation of sites that have been recently vacated or abandoned. The MS diffusivity reflecting collective motion of molecules is free from such correlation effects. 
and are amenable to simpler interpretation and modeling than the self-defensibilities. PFG NMR tech experimental procedures also are used to determine the self-defensibilities. So for use in practice, we need uh, the Fick and Maxwell Stefan defensibilities, but often it is uh, easier using um, uh, PFG NMR techniques or even MD simulations to determine the self-defensibilities of molecules, but the self-defensibilities of molecules reflect both um, molecule wall and molecule molecule collisions and are more difficult to interpret. There is, however, a scenario under which uh, the uh, unary maxwell stefan defensivity can be uh, identified with the uh, unary self defensivity To illustrate uh, the scenario, let us consider the uh, diffusion of uh, methane in um, LTA4A zeolite that consists of uh, cages of 743 cubic angstrom. Each cage is separated from adjacent cages by narrow windows of uh, four angstrom in size. The uh, guest molecules such as uh, methane, hydrogen, CO2, nitrogen jump one at a time across the windows. To illustrate that, let's look at uh, animations determined from MD simulations. We see uh, the methane molecule jumps one at a time across the window and the jumps are uncorrelated. Since the correlations are negligible, the uh, self diffusivity can be identified with the uh, Maxwell Stefan diffusivity. Generally speaking, the self diffusivities can be determined to a significantly higher level of accuracy than the Maxwell Stefan diffusivity from uh, MD simulations. The Maxwell Stefan diffusivity are subject to more um, numerical errors and uh, long simulation times are required for accurate determinations of the MS diffusivities.